There were mouse traps and robots, brain machines and crochet hooks, hula hoops and motorized cupcakes. It was the third annual Maker Fair in San Mateo, and despite long lines and long commutes, about 60,000 people came out for the weekend to mingle with the makers. Burning Man meets Robot Wars meets nerds, you know. It's very, very strange and very odd, and you see a lot of interesting people. This is a kinetic sculpture that I call Sisyphus. Under the table is a robotic mechanism with a magnet, and uh, wherever the magnet goes, the ball follows. And this is my third year, and uh, there is nothing like it that I've experienced, and I think a lot of people would agree with that. The, the, the feeling, the sense of innovation, and combined with you can do this, is it's wonderful. And when I see kids and adults on their hands and knees speaking under there, it's, it's fantastic. While some tried to figure out the gears, others headed out to turn some gears of their own. What we found is that one person has enough power to get 50 people dancing if they're using efficient speakers with efficient amplifiers. Today what we're doing is we're summing the, the power output of three bicycles into one power output. Wondering how many hours of tinkering it takes to be a maker? It's getting faster and faster. So this bike took like about two years. Um, but this one only took a week. Six weeks of every hour outside of work. <laughs> I neglected my family, my dogs, my orchids. <laughs> yeah, I've been working on this for the past uh, three and a half hours almost. <laughs> Still, makers like Phil Sato, who brought his Mobius Omnibus to the fair, say all those hours are worth it. It's very satisfying. I, I don't think there's a finer self-expression, you know, to create something that gives other so many other people joy, and it, it it's fully realized. I mean, from imagination to hundreds of people having a good time. I mean, there's very little else you can do that does that.